is our Gradowski of We Are Change.org here at the Nexus Conference in Aspen, Colorado with a lot of amazing speakers and a lot of incredible ideas. One of those incredible ideas is by the one and only Roger Ver, who's transitioning from Bitcoin Jesus to the creator of a new country that is not a country. Roger. So to be fair, we're trying to create a non-country. Um, so for anybody who's read a book by David Friedman called The Machinery of Freedom, Basically, we're trying to implement those ideas in reality. So the idea is uh, we've already raised more than 100 million U.S. dollars. Uh, we're planning on figuring out the appropriate way to allow the public to participate as well. I think we'll raise over half a billion dollars, and we're going to approach different governments around the world and ask them to sell us some of their land and grant sovereignty with that land. And then we'll set up basically a free society where basically the, the main rule is don't aggress against other people, the non-aggression principle, of course. And so we're going to have the world's freest uh, non-country in the entire world. So it's a really exciting thing and uh, it's in the works and it's happening and we've already started some negotiations with a couple of different countries and we were really pleasantly surprised just how interested they were. Yeah, I was going to ask you, how is the process of starting your own kind of sovereign territory that's going to be, uh, you were talking about this during your speech, it was going to be based on the principles of non-aggression, on voluntarianism. How do you even get started in that process? And uh, obviously, you can't get, can't get into great details, but what kind of agreements are you trying to work out with certain countries? Yeah, the idea is for them to just sell us the land and say, you guys do what you want with it, and we'll probably have to make some concessions. We'll probably have to promise them that we won't export any drugs to the original country or you know, nu no nuclear weapons and things like that. But uh, for the most part, like this is going to wind up being the freest country in the entire world. And look around the world. The freer the country is, the more economic prosperity they have. So not only is it going to be the freest country in the world, pretty quickly it's been going to become one of the wealthiest countries in the world as well. And it'll be a non-country, to be clear. <laughs> so there will be no taxes whatsoever, no government whatsoever. Everybody will deal with everybody else on a voluntary basis. Is this kind of like a Hong Kong-China uh, kind of relationship that you're looking forward to establish with a different country? Yeah, the, the devil's always in the details. So uh, hopefully we can have an even better deal than, uh, than China and Hong Kong and, and all that because... You know, 99 years ran out, and now Hong Kong's reverting to China. Uh, hopefully, this will be permanent and forever and, and a good deal for everybody involved. Now, uh, of course, how do you even um, go about some of the... Because you need some kind of rules. You need some kind of uh, deadlines and some kind of, like, strict line of how you're going to operate this, who you're going to let in, who you're not going to let in. What are some of the provisional basic ideas that you're looking to incorporate into this uh, new country that's not a country? So the property owners themselves will decide who's allowed on their property and who's not. And we'll basically set up the initial constitution with the initial rules. And you can kind of think of it like a, like a homeowners association that lays out the ground, ground rules. And then everybody has to abide by that for forevermore. So that's, that's going to be basically the idea. And off to the races from there. Now that's a big idea. What made you go after this venture? What problems in society made you see this as a possible solution moving forward? If you look all around the world, there's no place that people that believe in voluntary human interaction can go. And we need a place like that. Like, uh, even if you're not a libertarian, even if you're not a voluntarist, you should really support this project. Because if you think governments are great, you should still support our project. Because if we go there and we set up a place with no government and it fails and it's, you know, chaos and buildings are being burnt down and people are being killed, you can look and point and say, hey, that's why we need a government. All those libertarians are crazy. So give us a chance to try. Help us out. Participate. How would society run in this kind of uh, new country that's not a country? I think pretty much the way everybody deals with everybody right now. Everybody in their day-to-day -day basis deals with everybody on a voluntary basis. Starbucks asks you to buy their coffee. They don't tell you to buy their coffee. You asked me to, to be on your show. You didn't tell me I have to be on your show. Everybody deals with everybody on a voluntary basis all the time, every day, with the exception of you know robbers, murderers, rapists, and governments. So. I don't think we need the coercion from governments either. We all, we all know we don't need rapists, robbers, and murderers. We don't need the coercion from governments either. So we're going to try setting up a place that doesn't have that either. So it's all going to be based on voluntarism and the non-aggression principle. Uh, so as far as taxes or any kind of authority or security or police, how will you get around some of the bigger kind of societal problems that people face in this kind of things? I know this is very, uh, you know, kind of bare bones, still starting off, still just starting to talk to government, so I know this is still beginning, but the, the, the idea of this is very fascinating, and I know a lot of people online are probably going to have a hard time grasping how this is even possible. So if you could just lay some of those details out, uh, you know, who's going to build the roads? <laughs> who's going to uh, be the police officer in this country? Who's going to get taxed? And, you know, on and on and on. So first of all, there will be no taxes whatsoever. 
um, taxation is theft, so there will be, as we want to minimize the amount of stealing and coercion. Uh, as far as who will build the roads, people who want to use the roads will come together voluntarily and figure out how to do that. Here's an iPhone, right? This allows me to con connect with anyone anywhere on the planet just like that and communicate with them. This is an amazing piece of technology that you know thousands or tens of thousands or maybe hundreds of thousands of people had to cooperate together to produce. This is a lot more difficult to produce than a flat spot on the ground, right? What's a road? It's a flat spot on the ground. So I have, I'm not worried at all that people won't be able to figure out how to build flat spots on the ground. But if you really want to know the details of how this is all going to work, go and get a book called The Machinery of Freedom by David Friedman. It's a fantastic book, and uh, it really lays out all the, the details of how, how we think and envision that this will work. But at the end of the day, we won't know until we actually try, and we're going to try, and we're going to find out. And, there, and I think there's anyone that could pull it off. It's definitely you and all the incredible projects that you, you were working on before. Is there anything else you want to tell the public about this new project? Or is there any way people could get involved in this new project right now? Yeah, visit freesociety.com, sign up for our mailing list, read our white paper, learn all about it, get involved. Uh, we have a Slack channel set up. Uh, this is going to happen. I and mean, we already have $100 million worth of capital committed. And we haven't accepted any money at all from the public yet. And soon we will be doing that as well. This is going to be a big deal. This is going to happen. It's, it's happening. Get involved. Oh, one last question. Are you going to be president or leader or founder or how, like, are you going to have any role? Uh, there will be no president. There's not going to be any sort of government. We won't issue passports. We're not going to join the UN. We're going to sell off all the land to private people and then they'll get to do what they want with their land within the provisions set up by the initial constitution and the land title deed. So no presidents, no leaders, no masters, no, no rulers, no slaves, none of that. Awesome idea. Thank you so much, Roger. I'm excited about this project. I'm going to be f staying close contact with Roger about this, so stay tuned for more developments on this YouTube channel. And uh, thank you so much for watching and subscribing.